page 65 at Kapilavatu. While at Rajagaha, the Blessed One heard that his father wished to see him, and he set out for Kapilavatu. He did not, however, go straight to the palace, but, according to custom, stopped in a grove outside the town. The next day, the Buddha, with his bowl, went for his alms from house to house in the streets of Kapilavatu. King Suddhodana, startled at the news, rushed to the Buddha and said, Why, Master? Why do you put us to shame? Why do you go begging for your food? Not one of your race has ever done so, replied the Buddha. You and your family may claim descent from kings. My descent is from the Buddha of old, and they, begging their food, always lived on arms. Then explaining the Dharma, the master said, Be alert, be mindful, lead a righteous life. The righteous live happily both in this world and the next. And so the king became established in the path. He realized the Dharma. The Buddha was then conducted into a palace where all came to pay his respects to him, but not Princess Yashodara. The Buddha went to her and the princess, knowing the impassable gulf between them, fell on the ground at his feet and saluted him. Then relating to Chandakinara Jataka, a story of his previous birth, revealing how great her virtue had been in that former life, he made her an adherent to the doctrine. Later, when the Buddha was induced to establish an order for women, Yashodara became one of the first nuns and attained arhatship, highest sanctity. When the Buddha was in the palace, Princess Yashodara arrayed her son Rahula in all his best attire and sent him to the Blessed One, saying, That is your father, Rahula. Go and ask for your inheritance. Prince Rahula went to the Buddha, stood before him and said, Pleasant indeed is your shadow, sage. And when the Blessed One had finished his meal and left the palace, Prince Rahula followed him, saying, Give me my inheritance, sage. Give me my inheritance. At that, the Blessed One spoke to the Venerable Sar Sariputra. Well then, Sariputra, take him into the order. Then the Venerable Sariputra gave Prince Rahula the ordination. In the Majjhima Nikaya, one of the five original collections of Pali, containing the Buddha's discourses, there are three discourses, number 61, 62, and 147, entitled Rahula Vada, or Exhortations to Rahula, delivered by the Blessed One to teach the Dharma to little Rahula, the discourses are entirely devoted to advice on discipline and meditation. Here is an extract from the Master's exhortation in the Maha Rahu Lovada Sutra. Cultivate the meditation on loving kindness, Metta Rahula, for by cultivating loving kindness, ill will is banished. Cultivate the meditation on compassion, Karuna Rahula. For by cultivating compassion, cruelty is banished. Cultivate the meditation on appreciative joy, Mudita Rahula. For by cultivating appreciative joy, aversion is banished. Cultivate the meditation on equanimity, Yupika Rahula. For by cultivating equanimity, hatred is banished. Cultivate the meditation on impurity, Ashuba. Rahula, for by meditating on impurity, lust is banished. Cultivate the meditation on the concept of impermanence, Anikasana, Rahula, for by meditating on the concept of impermanence, pride of self, Ashmi, Mana, is banished. Cultivate the meditation on mindfulness of in and out breathing, Atupanasati, Rahula, for mindfulness of breathing, cultivated and frequently practiced, 
bears much fruit and is of great advantage.